What's going on Spartans? King here bringing another Epic Raids episode. Today though, we're putting a little bit of a twist on it. Today we're going to be doing Epic Failage. So, of course, as you know, I do a lot of raids and sometimes I do fail pretty hard. So you're going to see a lot of that today. You're going to see a couple of those raids that are just pretty good raids overall where I should have won and got the 50%, but for some reason or other, just couldn't convert it to a win. Alright guys, so here we go. We're starting out with this raid. I am facing Ivan in this one. And as you can see, I'm using Barch. Really one of my favorites. I'm actually Barching right now. As you know, my clan is pushing. This week you will see a new series. And that series will be our uh, climb to the top 200 basically inside Angels and Devils clan. And it's going to be pretty epic. It's going to feature a lot of my clan mates pushing their hearts out. Really kicking ass. And then it's also going to feature myself doing some raids. And yeah, it's going to be really fun. We're going to show you how we climbed to top 200. We are actually right now at the top 900, so that's pretty fun. And yeah, as you can see in this raid though, just been circling this base, dropping barbarians in front of the archers, working my way around. It is a little weird since the walls are offset. You definitely got to be careful with that. You never know how troops are going to react to a base that you've never attacked before. Obviously, a lot of bases have similar structures, so you normally know what's going on. But every once in a while, you do find that one base like this that is very different, and those outlying walls really do affect your troops a lot differently than normal. So as you can see, I did drop my clan castle there. The witches came out, or the witch came out, and I dropped my queen. And I'm at 36%. I'm really expecting to clutch quite a few here. A few more, uh, a few more things. Just get it over with. I'm at 38%. And climbing, the queen's still alive, and not for long, she is gone. That clan castle is really low on health. Luckily, that inferno tower is out, so I'm going to take advantage of that. Let's see if I can convert. And as you can see, that witch is still just kicking it. And she is not going to go down due to the fact that I have all those skeletons, and of course, I have the archers too in front of her. So she's going to be pretty safe here. She's going to take out that archer tower. Gotta love that. And unfortunately, here's where her downfall is. All those archers are already gone, so she's got no more meat shield. I dropped one mini at a time here, and that was really stupid on my part. I should have just dropped them all at once. I did just drop two, and I took half that gold mine. And as you can see, here's where I just dropped the last of my troops. And you can see I have the archer there shooting at the wall, unfortunately, which is just bogus. But what can you do? Can't always have a perfect ray, guys. And as you see, that last minion already went down, but that is too bad. I should have put all three minions together at once, and if I had, I would have won, but that mine had no health left. Unfortunately, I did get the 49% and lose, but let's go on to the next raid. And here it is, guys. 360,000 showing and 401,000 elixir with 2,400 dark. I'm blending, and uh, as you can see, I just dropped one there. The queen's already drawn out, so I'm going to overwhelm her. With my clan castle and a few minions, my uh, wizards came out of the clan castle and are just going to go to work here. Unfortunately, one of them did just die from a big bomb. I hate that. That is the worst thing in the world to have happen. And now let's attack from the other side with all the balloons and rage them there. Get them to the center. And once they're in the center, they'll take out that inferno. Let's rage them again so they can get the heck out of there. And unfortunately, they did not get that expo out of the way. But without that there... We would have been really clear, but I messed up, so we are a little bit in a bad path here. Let the king go to work. He's already released. He's inside the first ring, so he's going to take out a few buildings really quick. And, of course, we are going to continue to rock into the middle of his base. That expo is just going to town on my minions, unfortunately. I'm at 39%. I have taken about 52,000 gold and 125,000 elixir, so that's pretty solid. And yeah, I have one minute left with this raid, so let's see what I can do here. I'm just going to speed it up, and we are going to see what I can do to try and clutch it. I dropped my queen. She gets hit by a big bomb. Doesn't affect her too much, but it does do a decent amount of damage because it was upgraded a little bit. And she's going to just keep going 44%, and can she go? She's going invisible 45. Can she get it to 49 or 50? Let's just see. And as you can see, she's at 47. I dropped my last minion. This is where it goes bad. The queen dies, okay? I drop my last lightning. I get rid of the only thing that could kill my last minion. I have 49%. And I'm like, heck yes. I didn't think I could do it, but I'm about to win. Look at it. It's got 0% health. Three seconds left. Two, one. And if you look, the blue, oh, God, it's so brutal. But that black little dot was falling. It was about to hit it, but we still lost. 
So yeah, literally a millisecond before winning, we lost. I was really, really angry at this raid, but I did get 133,000 elixir, so pretty solid. Unfortunately, 25 trophies down. This is the last one, guys. Look at this base. This base is crazy. If anyone knows this guy, give him some props. He made a face with his base. It's pretty cool looking. And uh, yeah, I really attacked this badly. I barched, and I should have attacked it differently. I'll, sh I'll tell you how once you start watching, but just going to zoom through it for the most part. Not really an important raid. I did lose, so it's not that impressive. The clan castle came out, and it's just going to work. And I'm just dropping a bunch more barbarians over there just to help it out. But as you noticed, in the beginning, I did take out the two mortars and the one wizard tower with my five lightning. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just taken out the two mortars and not wasted my fifth lightning on that wizard tower because it never would have affected my troops. And as you can see, we're pretty much done the right side there. And I unfortunately, you might have missed it. I did drop my clan castle. I had dragon in it. Now, that was the second mistake I made. Not only should I not have dropped my, my fifth lightning, but I had a dragon in the clan castle, which I didn't know and that was my fault if I had dropped that at the top of the base the dragon would have flown straight through to the clan castle and he probably would have taken almost I'd say he would have taken all that stuff out in the middle of that base that's all in closed in walls so I dropped my queen at the top 49% and I have a few troops left she still has her invis left I'm not too worried at this point I notice how fast she's going down and I'm really getting scared here I make her invisible the clan castle is just too strong so as she comes visible again you can see that clan castle is at like 2%, 1%, and she dies. Unreal. I was so mad at this, guys. I can't even tell you. But I did destroy the face. He has no eyes left, so he definitely learned his lesson. <laughs> and this archer's just wasting her time shooting the wall. Whatever. Anyway, just zoom through, finish it up. Decent amount of loot, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.